Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited today because I'm gonna be unwrapping the iPad Pro 11 version and this is a 12.9 resolution. I decided to go bigger because I'm gonna be doing a lot of programming and the same thing, I'm going to be using it for programming so I needed a keyboard so I decided to get the Smart Keyboard Folio. So I'm gonna start with the iPad and we can look at what's inside. We can look at some of the operating system functions and another one that I want to look at, it's going to be the new leader scanner. All right guys, so I got everything cleaned up. I wanna show you how we start unwrapping this. I'm gonna start by just getting some of the sticker out, getting some of this plastic out. And we can look at the box. Like I said, this is the 256 gigs, if I didn't mention that already. And let's see, and everything that you get from Apple, basically is always really well unwrapped and it actually has a really good, a really good smell every time you get it out. So. You know, here's the box. We can also get this plastic out right here. And we can, there we go, get that back part out. And we can probably rotate it and get this out of the way as well. Just gonna get it out of there. And then here you go. So it's pretty light. As you can see, it's actually really, really thin. If we look at it from every angle. And honestly, I, I really like it. It looks, it feels, it feels really, really good. You can see that the buttons right here, there is one for the volume. There's also one to put the pencil. I didn't get the pencil, but you can use the pencil if you want to, and you can actually stick it there. The other thing that this has, and I've been reading a lot about it, is that it has some power, powerful speakers. So the speaker is right here, and there's another speaker right here. And we also have a few mics and a camera. So I believe the mic, there's a mic here and a mic here and a mic here. And also another mic right over here. So let's see if this thing powers up by, you know, by just holding that button. They normally have a little charge. So as you can see, here it is and it's coming on. You can see the Apple logo. So I'm gonna just show you what's in there in just, you know, just a few minutes. So. I wanna show you what else is in the box. So we have, you know, a little manual here. And the iPad Pro manual, we can read through that. Welcome to the iPad Pro. So, you know, the standard, standard things that they include. You also have, if you have a SIM card, it comes with this little pin right here. See if I can show it. And then with that pin, you can basically just, you know, push, push it on the side and then get the, get the little opening up so you can put the SIM card. So these are just some manuals and manuals. I'm gonna put that in. The, the cool thing about these iPad is that it comes with the USB-C adapter. So, which is really cool because you don't have to worry about, you know, having different adapters and different chargers. And these are actually really fast too when I actually use one of these for my iPhone. And, you know, one end is like this and then the other end is of course is gonna be the lightning, the lightning cable. But this one is the connector on both ends, which makes the iPad a really cool device because it's gonna charge really fast as well. So here's the charger. And then if we look inside the box, actually that's everything. So let me just clean this up and then move to the side. So the other thing that I wanna show you as well, it's going to be the, the actual keyboard, right? So we wanna use the iPad. We could, we could probably use it just without any special hardware. So I can go here and we can use the touch screen. So if I go here and show you, show it to you, if we want to welcome, it's going to walk us to, through the process. We can just, you know, select which country we are on. And I'm just going to say set up manually. We can, we can probably just set that up in just, in just a few seconds. So I'm going to show you how the keyboard looks like. So let me get this one out of the way as well. And by no means, I'm not a professional open box video creator. I normally create videos about tutorials, but I'm gonna do my best to show you what this, what this provides. So if we look at this one, let me see if I can get it, get it out, there we go. And we have, you know, one of those wrappers again that Apple has. So everything is always really well packaged. I, I love that about Apple, this feels really good. There's actually an icon here for the, for the Apple logo. I don't know if you guys can see it, yep. And the texture on this, it feels like rubber, but like a really high quality rubber. And we have a fake iPad inside. It looks like there's really nothing in it. Let me just make sure that that is true. 
I think we may have some stickers in here. It's actually just, you know, instructions, so I'm just not gonna look at that. We can look at that later. And then here's the keyboard, right? So we have the keyboard. I can show you how that looks. And it feels really good in here, so if I touch that texture, here's the keyboard. So it feels, it feels really, really good. So let me see how hard it's going to be to, to actually connect it. So if we go in here, there's actually a couple of pins that you can see right here on the side. So when I was looking at the documentation, it looks like all you really have to do is just plug it in, just basically stick it to that. So there are magnets behind the, the actual device. And, and it's really crazy, like this thing is, it, it holds itself. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna risk it because this is an expensive device, but it, it's basically tied together really well. And the other thing that we can do is, now we can just go ahead and close it. You can see how thin that looks on all angles. So I really, really, this feels really, really good. And then if you want to, if you want to just start typing, I'm gonna just go ahead and rotate it so you guys can see it. This is gonna be how the iPad looks like. So it just feels really good. It, it's pretty light. So if you guys are thinking about doing a larger screen, I would recommend that you do that because I mean, look at this, it looks really good. And there's also a lot of real estate. It just feels like it's a real laptop. It's gonna tell me to start getting rotating. So I'm rotating my face. This is very similar to the experience in the iPhone 11 Pro. All right guys, so I got everything set up. So as you can see, I'm on the home screen and the resolution on this thing is beautiful. I can also easily you know, swipe right and left to look at more icons. I can swipe right one more time when I'm at home and I can see some of the, you know, what today's view looks like, some of the series suggestions, also top stories. Looks like we're getting some CNN stories. And then if I swipe, you know, down from the top, you can see some of these icons. I can control the volume. I can control, you know, the brightness on the screen. We can actually increment it, maybe decrement it a little bit. We can also, you know, do the locking if you don't want it to rotate automatically. You have your, you know, your flashlight your different notifications, if you want to go to airplane mode, if you want to, you know, change this to Bluetooth and not Bluetooth. So there's just a lot of things in here. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to show you is to see how this actually runs. If we wanted to look at a video, for instance, for YouTube. So let's go ahead and check out how the browser, so the browser is really fast. So if I go to some of the options in here, ex for example, apple.com, you can see how beautiful that looks. We can also, and rotate this and also look at it in portrait mode and everything just looks marvelous. It looks just beautiful. So I can rotate, I can also add another tab and we can add more tabs. I can maybe on this one I can go to Facebook and maybe on this other one I can go to Twitter. So it's just really fast and everything is very, very responsive. The other thing, of course, we can get the the emoticons there. We can also look at more applications if we have multiple applications open. So I can go into my, let's say that I wanted to open email. You can, you know, swipe up and you can see the multiple applications running. Let's go ahead and open up another one. Let's say that I wanted to look at photos, right? Right now I don't have any photos, but let's say that I have some photos in there. Looks like they're syncing right now. Now you can see, you know, I can go to my mail. I can swipe up. I can go to my Safari just to look at Twitter. We can go into Apple, we can just, you know, use our gestures if we want to zoom in. And everything just, it's just very, very responsive. We go to the watch, we go to music. Let's go ahead and go into YouTube. Now we can use our keyboard. The keyboard feels like it's not mechanical, so it doesn't really feel like you're, you're touching, but it actually feels really good. It, it, I, I like the form factor. I like the materials that they make this. Looks like it's water resistant as well. So let's go ahead and, and search for perhaps one of my videos. Let's say that I'm gonna do Dilmer, and we can do Dilmer Vallecillos, VFX, VFX because I think some of these effects are gonna be cool to watch. So I wanted to go and look at one of these. I can hit play, and you can see the video playing there. Let's go ahead and find something that is more, and I'm not saying my videos are no higher res, but we can look at something that is more you know, 4K so we can just look at videos, music videos. And we can look at a music video. And we can look at, I'm trying to pick something in here that you guys might like. We, we can just look at, you know, top 100 videos. I can also lower the volume, so we don't wanna see, hear the volume. Just right now, I'm just going to 
I'll just, you know, make it louder here in just a second. I can hit play, and I can raise the volume, hit play again. Of course, I can fast forward if I wanted to. If I can back go backwards, I can. So let's go ahead and look for maybe a gaming type video. So we can do gaming video. But everything is just really fast, right? We can do, I don't know, one of these videos. You can go forward. Aliens Colonial Marines, despite being arguably the most hyped Aliens game ever, had one simple And everything just looks, looks really good. Shooter. If you want to kill an application, you can of course swipe up, swipe up in there, swipe up. And that's basically how some of the applications work on this iPad Pro 11. I got this iPad because of the leader scanner, so let's see what we can do with this. I'm going to go into my measure application in here. And this is going to open up and it's going to start looking at, it's using the leader scanner so it knows that I am, I have a plane and if I get closer to you, you can kind of see. So if I were to hold this, let's say that I want to measure from at a point right there. And then we want to add a point perhaps right at this location just to see. See how it's detecting the edge of that box, which is in, insane. So I can, I know that that is 11 inches apart. If I want to go back, let's say that we want to go maybe from around this point, so we can add a point here. And then we can go and then get closer maybe to the box. Now that is about 18 and a half. So let's say, let's say that I wanted to do more, something more realistic. So I'm gonna, add, I'm gonna grab my Oculus and I'm gonna, well, I guess that's not realistic, but I wanna make sure the distance between the Oculus and my HoloLens. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it. I'm gonna add a pin right there. So from that point, and if you guys can see it, and I can get closer to my box right there and we can get another point. And now I know that that is going to be, you know, the distance between and if I get closer and, and this is really cool. If I get closer, I can get, you know, a more precise measurement. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions on the leader scanner that I just showed you, please let me know. Just keep in mind that I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on the leader scanner with AR Foundation. I'm really excited about it because I really want to use, you know, the power of the A12Z bionic chip that comes with this device and also using some of the crazy gpu and cpu power that comes so there's actually a cpus and a gpus on this device and i really want to take it to the stream by just using it with some of the visual effects that i've been putting in the channel so if you guys have additional questions about anything that i mentioned please let me know in the comments thank you